What's up guys, welcome to another video. Yeah, we're just throwing out the case videos left and right. This one happens to be from Rinky. Again, these are the iPhone 14 line. This is for the Pro Max edition, but they have it for other versions of the iPhone 14 as well. And if you have an older iPhone, check them out because they'll have you covered in that aspect as well. So let's dig right in and take a look at these cases that Rinky did send the show. Uh, Rinky has been a friend of the show for a while, so they did send this to us to review. Uh, so let's dive right in and take a look at their lineup. Now we have over here the Fusion X iPhone 14 Pro, which is for the Max, 6.7 inch if you want to be certain. And this is the black version. So there you go. It's got a nice clear um, look to it. Let's go ahead and slap the phone in. Boom. It's nice, sleek. Now, are you saying does this work with? No. Oh, oh, look at that! It does charge, but that's not a very good grip. So, is it going to be charging at full, full, full power? I don't know. They don't advertise this one to be um, MagSafe compatible, but I did get it to charge. So, yeah, we'll say it's on the line. All right. Port-wise, case-wise, I, I like these corners. They've got some kind of like a raised um, corner to it too, so when you sit it down, it's level. Because a lot of these cases they have these higher bezels around your lenses. When you sit them down, they're, they're kind of wobble, but this here, they've, they've made up with that, with those um, almost like little feet to sit it on. Awesomeness, I do like that. Uh, Port-wise, everything, Feels really good. I love the, the feedback on these buttons too. Uh, that's a plus for me on this case is uh, the feedback. You really know you pushed them, um, so that's a plus. Uh, plenty of room for the ports, so non-standard uh, lightning cables that you don't get from Apple or something that have kind of a, like an aluminum housing around them. Gonna fit. Uh, so that's a nice nice thing to make certain. So um, this is FX, even though I don't see. Oh yeah, Fusion X, so FX. Um, so nice, I, I am a fan. That is a very, very nice case. Uh, something that differentiates from other cases that I've actually seen are these stands and the feedback is much better. Um, so that's, that's a win. That's something that I really, really do like about this case. So this has actually moved up into one of my favorites. I would still put it on the non-MagSafe list though as you can see it doesn't even have the MagSafe circle in it so it is what it is but I do like it so this is just the Fusion iPhone 14 Pro 6.7 this is the matte clear so you can see it's not it's not see-through this is what you'd want to watch your woman shower behind maybe or maybe not your woman just some woman or you know or, or a dude ladies maybe you want to see that right fogged up shower yeah uh-huh yeah well, I don't know why I went there um, so let's go ahead and snap this in. Again, nice frosted look. I like it. The ports are about the same. Ooh, good feedback still on the buttons. That's something Rinky has nailed there. So overall, I think that's a win. Let's go ahead and see what MagSafe does. A little stick and a little charge. So is this powerful? No. So again, it's on the bubble for being a MagSafe friendly case but it does charge so I mean I guess you could technically say it's mag safe now I left this one because I wanted to show you the unboxing experience for a ring key so these are eco packages so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tear we're gonna pull it out and then get rid of the stuff and then they've got these nice little pull tabs thank God because getting your fingers under this stuff to pull it off is not fun and then there's your case, right? So make sure you do that, or you're gonna have some watermarks through your case, which won't be good. This is the Fusion Plus phone case. So let's go ahead, take my naked off phone. Now look at this, you've got some uh, like little bumpers in this one here. So you can actually put the bumpers in to the little slots. I wonder if we gotta do that before we put on the case. Let's just see. Let's show you what they look like. So we got some bumpers. 
Um, is it going to go in like this? Yes. Hmm. So we'll have to play with this one here. No, it goes in like that. And I think I can put them in after the phone is in here. It might be easier to do with the phone out. So you'll get some bumpers if you want to put those on. Um, but let's go ahead and slap the phone in. You don't want to watch me fumbling around putting in bumpers. You get the gist. You get the gist. All right. Got it on. Nice. Look at that. It's got a lot of protection. You can see around the ends, it kind of fattens up down at the bottom and fattens up at the top. Um, again, tactile feedback on these buttons is amazing. Good bezel. Um, just a real beautiful case. Nice clear, clear design, clear look. Mag safe. Let's see if this one, this one's a little thicker, so this might be a little more. Oh, that one stick better. Still not great, but it did stick a little bit better than the last one. So again, this is the uh, Fusion Plus. So you can put in some little bumpers if you so desire. There's little rubbery bumpers. All right, two other products I wanted to show that they did sh uh, send. If you want to do their Tempered Glass Premium Screen Protector, they do uh, sell these, and it does say with Easy Install Tool. So it's a 9H hardness, which means scratch resistance. Uh, maximum HD resolution, perfect touch precision, anti-chip with external force absorption. So, uh, if you're going to get a thousand dollar phone and then some, protect it. Protect your screen from scratches, drops, breaks, all that good stuff. Get yourself a tempered glass. And then also, the camera full cover glass. So this will cover, this is 14 Pro 6.1 and the 6.7. So the uh, cameras are the same on the pros, so basically you'll want to do this screen protector for your lenses and then you have basically with the ring key solution oh, I don't know if I can open this behind the camera or not. There we go. We got multiple ones in here. With the cleaning wipe. So basically it's just a little screen protector. See? For your camera area. Very, very nice. So you do all this and you should be pretty darn safe with the ring key solution. Keeping your phone, your lenses, your screen, all that stuff safe, secure, like the day you got it. I'll have links in the show notes for all these items from ring key. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I think these are some really good case options. Um, like I said, they're a little weak with the MagSafe. They did all charge through MagSafe. It's just don't bump it. And I would probably say the Apple MagSafe charger seems to have the best magnet of all of them that I've tried. So uh, that was a Satechi one. So possibly if you have the Apple MagSafe charger, you might get better magnetism than the one I just tested it with. So I will say they did charge with MagSafe. So I'm not going to say they're 100% not MagSafe compatible. They did work. So check the show notes for a link for all this stuff. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. As always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.